If you're looking for a fantastic film or a binge-worthy series to entertain you and your loved ones this holiday season, we've got you covered. Joining us with a roundup of what's new to watch for the holidays is Refinery29 Unbothered. <laughs> Kathleen Gilbert for me! It's been too long, Kathleen! grabbed you and got you back in studio. What have you been up to? I, you know what? I've been working and Unbothered has been cooking up some incredible things for everyone. And tomorrow we are launching a special digital cover. <gasps> so please check that out. It's going to be incredible. At r Unbothered and Refinery29.com. I love that. And she's not going to say any more because we That's have the fight until tomorrow. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start off your roundup uh, with a romantic comedy, which you know I'm into as much as you're into. Yes. If you remember anything about my recommendations, it's that I love me a rom-com. And I know you do right. too. So this one is called Something from Tiffany's. It stars Zoe Deutsch, who you probably remember from Set It Up or Not Okay, and Kendrick mm. Sampson, who you definitely remember as Nathan from Insecure. Hot, 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 hot. Very hot man. Yes. yes. Um, and he didn't get the girl insecure yeah that is a spoiler alert. I'm sorry but I think yeah. he's gonna get his happily ever after here so this is a really cute rom-com Zoe Douch plays Rachel and she's in this relationship that she doesn't really like that much mm. uh, she's not sure about the commitment of this relationship and Kendrick plays Ethan and he's the exact opposite he's in this loving relationship with his girlfriend played by Shay Mitchell a Canadian yeah. queen but Rachel's boyfriend and Ethan switch their Christmas gifts by accident. They have this mix-up. They're both from Tiffany's. They're in that blue box yes. from Tiffany's that you know. Everybody knows it's iconic. Yeah. So they switch their gifts. And then one of them is a proposing by accident. The other one is left scrambling for their ring. Oh, and so comedy and romance ensue from there. Oh my gosh, I'm so, like, sign me up. Okay, next you've got a feel-good holiday story for those who hate feel-good holiday stories. Who are you people? I don't know who those people are, <laughs> but that is how they are selling it. Yeah. It stars Academy Award nominee Gabare Sidibe, you know from Precious, of course, yeah. and the legendary Loretta Devine. Mm. So Gabare plays Emily, and Emily's a little bit of a mess. Okay. So one night, Emily has one too many glasses of wine, uh -huh. and she writes a letter to Santa, mm -hmm. as you do. Yep. And all of her wine-soaked wishes start magically coming true. The problem is, she doesn't really remember what they are. Okay. And so, <laughs> I love this premise. Relatable, right? Very relatable. I, I love relatable. this premise, and also, I watch a lot of Christmas comedies, and you know that they can all start looking the same. You yes. know, they star the same white actors or people mm -hmm. with the same body types, and I love that this one stars a dark-skinned, big, beautiful black woman getting everything that her heart desires at Christmas even if she doesn't remember what that is. Oh, that's so good. And Sue, comedy, but also I want to see her dreams come true. Yes. Even the dreams she didn't know she had. <laughs> Next up is a comedy series created by the visionary behind the very popular show, Modern Family. I'd love yes. to hear what you think of this one. So it comes from the mind of Stephen Levitin, as you yeah. said. And I've been talking about it so much, I love it. It's called Reboot. Yeah. It's on Disney+. Plus. And so it's a satirical comedy that kind of takes on this trend of rebooting every series from our childhoods. Everything. So it's about this fictional cast who comes back together after 20 years to reboot their sitcom and okay. it's also a sitcom it's very funny <laughs> and smart it's so this meta cast, it's so meta yeah. this cast is stacked it's so so good I can't believe it. nobody is talking about it I feel like more people should be yeah and I really wanted to get a second season so please watch it okay please. it's almost like I like those sleepers but then yes. on the other hand it's like no we need it to be renewed yes so go watch <laughs> it all right talk to us about your next much wa must watch film it's equal parts science fiction comedy and mystery Yes, so they had me from the title alone. It's uh -huh. called They Cloned Tyrone. Uh oh. And immediately I want to know who Tyrone is. I yeah. want to know why they cloned him. Yes. Uh, I love it. I love this title. And then the cast is also stacked. So it stars okay. Tiana Paris, who nice. you know from Mad Men or WandaVision, John Boyega, who was just incredible in The Woman King, love and Jamie Foxx, who was also a producer on this. So this unlikely trio gets together to solve a government conspiracy. Mm. Now, it doesn't come out until December 30th, but you're going to thank me because you know those days in between Christmas and New Year's yes. where you haven't worn pants in days. Yeah. You don't know what day of the week it is. Nope. You just need something to binge. Yeah. You're welcome. They clone Tyrone. They clone Tyrone. I got to watch that one. Now, what if we're looking for a little drama on our TV screens? What can we uh, look to? Well, you can look to Fleischman is in Trouble. Okay. So this is also on Disney Plus, and it is based on the book by Taffy Broadesser Ackner, which I loved. Okay. And it stars Jesse Eisenberg as Toby Fleischman, and he is a man in his 40s. He's recently divorced, and his life is kind of upended. Uh, completely upended when his wife, played by Claire Danes, disappears and leaves him with his two kids. Ooh. 
It's about the dissolution of marriage. It's about friendship. It's about dating after divorce. It also stars Adam Brody and Lizzie Kaplan. Mm -hmm. And it is a part of a genre I like to call rich white people mess. Mm -hmm. So like Big Little Lies, <laughs> Succession, The Undoing. Yes. You know the ones. So I'm if, here for it. Right? If you like those yes. shows, I think you're going to like this. Okay, good. Sold. And rounding off uh, your list with one more mystery movie. Yes. What's this one? So you've definitely heard of this one. It is Knives Out, A Glass Onion Mystery. So it is the sequel to Knives Out, yep. but the only returning cast member is Daniel Craig, who returns as Detective Benoit Blanc. Okay. Um, and he's solving a brand new mystery with another star-studded cast. So you've got Kate Hudson, you've got Edward Norton, you've oh, got wow. Dave Bautista, you've got this incredible cast, Leslie Odom Jr., mm. or Aaron Burster, as I call him, Hamilton fans. <laughs> um, yeah, but the two words that I will say, because I can't give away too much because this is a mystery, it's a murder mystery, but the the two words I will say are Janelle Monet. Ooh. She is incredible in this. Okay. You gotta watch it. It comes out on Netflix on December 23rd. You know that I will always, always, always go to the KNB recommendations. Like, Thank and you. I always say that all these people should pay you because <laughs> you do such a good job of recommending, and you say you don't want to be paid because because I, I want y'all to trust me. And I these do are actual recommendations that yes. I like and that I just want you to watch and feel joy this holiday season. I love it. There's so much coming at us that it's overwhelming. So yeah. I, I very much rely on your picks. So thank goodness you're back. Okay, she always has the best recommendations. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Thank you.